Hey people, welcome back. It is I, L. Uh, I'm re-rolling. I've been re-rolling Bell. I've been having some problems, but I've also been doing some digging online. This will be my fourth attempt with Imperial with a Sith Inquisitor. I'm going to roll Bella as a Sith Inquisitor. This will be my fourth attempt. But, this time I have a plan. For the problem area. The problem area is, is a reaching the final quest is not the problem. It's doing the final quest, the, the final trial. Okay? You run into ancient droids and the Dasad. The Dasad, if you defeat the Dasad, he will be your companion for the rest of the game. A good asset. It's killing him. Them and the ancient droids are hard to kill. They're only like a level or two levels above you. And you throw everything you got. I've done stems. You throw everything you got at them. And basically, you end up, I ended up dying most of the time. But this time, based on the digging I've done recently, uh, I'm going to take my time with it. I'm not going to give up on this. There has to be an answer. And the oddity, the answer I found, it was put. That's somewhat intriguing. The answer <coughs> That's not fear I smell, is it? So you say, what's the answer? The answer was put rather rudely. I won't say where I got the answer from. Well I can. I got it on their forums and the guy who answered he was answering somebody's question about something else. You say, so what's the answer? Here's how it was put. Rather rudely, but here's how it was put. Okay. If you're having problems, the trials are solo. Are solo. You get no direct help. Okay. If you're having problems, if you're basically if you're getting your ass kicked, either go buy, either go buy better gear, or come back to it in a level or two. Let's see. Eye color. we go. We gotta go one more. One more on the old hair. There we go. Now she looks tough. Let's lighten up her skin color just a little bit. There we go. Uh, 
let's see, name. Let's have a little bit of fun, just to be different. Bella cake. <laughs> have a bit of fun. Let me give you the lowdown on what you're about to experience with the Inquisitor. Being an Inquisitor. The Overseer Harkin is a butthead. I'm saying butthead. I could say the other, the A word. But just this is just in case. No, 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 no. We're not going to go dun, 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 and hear the little writing. I've done that billions of times with the movies and I'm not going to do it. But anyway. Harkin, I'm not going to say the A word because uh, this will be on YouTube and, you know, and I know a lot of people watch it. Some will be offended, and especially children. And I know some people don't care. But I'm going to refrain from that. I'm just going to call him a butthead. We are arriving. There we are. That guy is our enemy, our rival. He is Harkin's pet. Last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become sick. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Let's establish that we don't like that we don't like each other. Please don't get all sentimental on us. We've only just met. I won't. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our late comer up to speed. Watch your back, then. And don't worry, it'll be all right. He can't kill us all. I will. And you take care of yourself. Believe me, I'll be watching back, front, everywhere. Now, slay, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of a junta poor in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. I'll do my best to please Sindral and accomplish his trial. But there, you know your task. Sindral lives in the tomb of a gentle Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Sindral waiting, slave. Don't worry, there'll be further. There'll be further chances to antagonize him. So you like doing that, don't you? <laughs> With him? Yeah. He's a butthead. Now, the Lord that he mentioned. She's nice. She's hot looking. But she's really nice. 
the advantage. Got a dog load. Uh -huh. First. There is a purpose on killing these two. Whoops. There is a purpose. These are foragers. And it's good practice. There's a question here to kill foragers. So basically, basically, You can wait to do that one. You can wait and go out you know, where we were and kill the foragers. Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corridor Regiment. Can I, can I talk to you? Speak freely, Sergeant. Thank you. You're one of the slaves Parkin brought in on the last transport, right? Here to prove yourself to the bloodthirsty overseers? Prove myself or die, apparently. Well, here's your chance to not only show off for the overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate core slugs in this tomb. They're horrific. Mouths bigger than your head. I've lost three squads of good men fighting them. They come in packs. They just, they'll swallow a man whole. If you're trying to talk me out of this, it won't work. Understood. I was hoping you could assist my operation while you're in there. Damn poor slugs reach so fast there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. They went insane. We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate. Sounds like you need some help. Don't underestimate those claw slugs, sir. They're, they're smarter than they look. You, you, you might be wondering, and I'd like to say hello to you, Bella Smith, Mossy Bud, and, and the gang. You might be wondering why he kept referring to you as sir, and why he asked for your permission to talk. Say, why did he? You know, why did he do that? Uh, because you are a Sith acolyte. Sith enjoy 
or an authority figure. So that's why you will find yourself being asked, they have to ask permission to speak with you and they'll call you sir. I have no idea why. It's like with my Sith warrior, El Ravon. When my character passed the final trial, okay, and became, you know, she passed her final trial, she is, she became Sith. She also was the apprentice of her master, a Dark Lord. So, it's sort of like the, in the Star Wars movies. She was addressed as my lord. Slimy meat. There's got to be somebody out there who wants slimy meat. I, it won't be me, of course, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, so that's why why you're being addressed as sir uh, or my lord. He does that man come to take me away. Why do they follow me? Why do they follow me? It's not the future that I can see. It's just my fantasy. when he was set off the charges. At least he appreciates us. Now, because we leveled and became level two, we can go over to this nut bar. He is a skill teacher, among other things. False lightning. Be gone. Be gone, mighty fellows of right will we be gone, and together we fight. We test out our, our new skill by shocking his pants. If it does nothing else, it'll, it'll teach him to dance. Okay, here is a side quest. Oh, that's the edict. We're gonna, well, we can accept the edict. I know how to do it. Uh, who's got the blaster? Quickly and cleanly.
heads, padded coat. Mm. Let's give ourselves. We might find something a little better. We have three armor on. The padded coat is level 10. And the dark acolyte boots are level are are nine armor. Wait a minute. I'm trying a new trick. I'm trying a new idea with attacking. <laughs> Bella knows me all. Bella knows me quite well. He says he's he's working out he's working out one of his problems. That's what I'm doing. Multiple targets. You attack a target. I'll show you in a second. You you probably you if you've been watching, you've seen it. Now watch. I'm going to attack I'm going to target and attack one of them. Anybody near them will attack me as well. So, that's how, that's the idea. Basically, when faced with multiple targets, you can't dawdle. You can't stay focused. You can't stay focused on the one you've tar originally targeted. We're a bit rusty, but uh, we're getting there. You say, what's the general, the general idea? The general idea is you, if you watch my health meter here, it's going back up because I'm not attacking. Uh, the general idea is to not allow allow them to lower to get your health critically low so that you know because there is the chance while you're while you're dealing with the ones you're dealing with that others may come And we're doing quite well. We're headed for level three in experience in level. Uh, which way? Straight on. No, wait a minute. Ooh, left and right. We got we got hang a left. Quickly and cleanly.
creds. Hmm. Vantha hide. I don't know whether I can wear the Vantha hide. We'll find out in a second. It's level 20. It's 20 armor. Don't have the skill. It's another sellable item. Pick up sellable items. You'll need it later. You'll need it later because if you're dying a lot, you'll have to. Let's go do the uh, Imperial Edict and get that over with. So far, it's working out good. The tactic, my new combat tactic, uh, fighting tactic, seems to be working. Shock me, foot on the black leather. He had shielding. So I zapped him with force lightning. <laughs> Where the Corsican twin Level three. If I can main this type of attack style. <coughs> right now you could refer to it as practicing. <coughs> uh, you say, yeah. If I can maintain, you know, maintain this and get good at it. 